Quizzes, assessments, and calculators can be really effective list building and lead generation tools, but sometimes the tech that's required can feel kind of clunky and complicated. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite, most easy to use softwares to create your own quiz, assessment, or a calculator. Here we are in Typeform, and that is the answer to today's trivia question of my favorite software to use to do this specific thing. So what I want to do is I want to ask people a series of questions, and they're all click questions. They don't have to type anything in. They're all questions they just have to click through, and each time they click a response, it's going to add up a tally. And then based on the score at the end of the quiz, I'm going to show them a different landing page. Now, if that sounds kind of complicated, this is not that complicated. It's one of the most simple tools that I've found compared to Mark quiz or bucket.io or uh, I think it's called outgrow is another tool that I've used in the past to make a calculator. Now there's a couple of caveats in this software. You have to have one variable. You can't have more than one variable that I know of. There's not, not a lot of ways to say, you know, have variable number one and calculate, do some math on that and variable number two. And now let's add them together. It doesn't quite work that way, but I'm going to show you a workaround of how I, I've used this tool. So Here's how it works. The first thing is you put in your questions and I prefer all multiple choice questions. I'll go through the questions here so you can see what they are, but um, just multiple choice questions. There's just five questions. They just click or they type in A, B, or C and that's it. Based on what they type in, I'm gonna show one of uh, five or six different results pages they give them a custom response, okay? So I made these pages, they're all the same thing. It says based on your response and I do a callback to whatever they typed in as their first name. And, and this specific assessment, this is helping people determine a range of prices that they could charge for their offer. So if you have a course or a membership or a coaching program or even a live event, you just answer these five questions. It'll spit out what have you, you know, what, what could you charge for that? Uh, what range would be appropriate based on the questions that they just answered? So option one is you can charge between 17 and 47. Option two is between 47 and 97. Option three is 97, 497, then 500 and 1,000, then 1,000 and 2,000, then 2,000 and above. Okay. So depending on how they answer the questions, uh, I'm going to show them a specific landing page. Now, a couple other things here, you can put a custom button. Like let's say I've, I've used a quiz uh, in the past to have people get an accurate quote on what it might cost to have them have a funnel built. And of course my agency can provide funnel building services. So I would ask some questions that I basically wanted to determine how many funnel pages are we talking about here and how custom does it need to be? If it's got custom images, custom copy, custom graphics, that can be kind of pricey and you can expect to pay, you know, 10,000 bucks or something like that. If it's fairly straightforward, a two-step opt-in funnel, you have all the graphics, you have all the copy, it could be inexpensive. So what I could do is have a button here on the pages and say, like this one could be, hey, you should make a program over 2,000 bucks, click here to book a call with me to brainstorm what that would look like, or click here to uh, join my program, right? So you could have a very simple assessment that based on their results, they might not be ready yet, and maybe you send them to one of your lead magnets, or they might be ready to become a customer and buy one of your courses, or they might be a high ticket customer and they're ready to book an assessment call to see if they qualify to work with you, right? So you can add the buttons. I just turned the button part off, but Typeform is super easy to use. I use it anyways for all of my forms and intake forms and new client forms and things like that. So I was delighted to find out that I could uh, kind of hack it in a way to use this functionality. So as a quick reminder, I've got these five questions. So I asked them which best describes your offer. I'll change these pictures out later. Don't get too caught up on the design. This is none of the branding. It's just, I just asked the questions. So I'm making a course, a membership, a consulting program, or an event. How much effort will you put into selling it? Uh, I'll put in, in no effort. This thing better sell on its own. Some effort, don't mind getting my hands dirty or a lot of effort. I'll be on sales calls, managing a sales pipeline. How will you get your customers results? If it's DIY completely on their own, done with you with some handholding or done for you where you'll do it for them. Which area of their life will your offer improve health, wealth, or relationships? And then are there any live components? So live calls, any coaching events, live workshops, etc. None, they're completely on their own. Some I'll host an event here or there, but not the main focus or see a lot. There's constant live interaction with me or my team. So you can kind of guess if somebody answers some of these easy questions, like I'm doing a, a, a little mini course, I want to put no effort into it. It's completely DIY and it's in the area of relationships, like maybe helping them become a better parent and no, there's no live components. That is not going to score super high and that might spit it out where it's this landing page here. Well, based on your responses, not that hard, not that complicated. It sounds like a lower ticket thing. But if somebody were to answer, well, I'm gonna make a consulting offer and it's gonna take a lot of effort. I'll be on sales calls and managing a pipeline and my customers will get some handholding or some done for you. Uh, this is in the area of helping them increase their wealth. I'm gonna make them more money. And there's some live components too. I'm gonna to be doing some live coaching calls. I'm gonna be doing some live one-on-one -on -one stuff. I'm gonna do live, uh, live events, live workshops 
jobs, that is going to spit out. This is sounds like it's over two thousand dollars. Okay, so just that's the range here. And so now I want to show you how. And now I've got the questions, and then I did did a little bit of lead captures that says, "All right, let's see what you should charge for your new awesome offer." And then says, "What's your first name?" And then, "What's your best email address?" And then, uh, "All right, let's uh, actually that's a duplicate. Click delete there." Uh, and then once they hit submit, it'll uh, show them the landing page they need to see. So here's how we do that part. We jump over here to logic and there's not logic branching here. Like I could say, for example, I've done assessments like hire me to be your coach. If they answer, I'm brand new to business. I've never spent a dime on coaching. I've never spent a dime on Facebook ads. I would stop the quiz. I would stop the assessment and say, you're not ready for a coach yet. You need to go download this lead magnet or do some freebie stuff or go hire somebody else's stuff or go watch other YouTube videos or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about here. It's not branch logic. It's down here when it comes to endings where we have a score quiz. So when I clicked on score quiz, this window pulled up and now I can start to assign points based on their response. Now I'm going to play around this and just see what happens. It's going to take some tweaking and I'll show you what the final product looks like as well, as well as put a link to the finished survey or the finished assessment or scorecard uh, in the, in the comments for you to take a look at yourself. So I'm just going to do them in uh, let's first thing I want to try is if it's a one. Uh, so one, two, three, four, in this case, that's going to add up their points. So if you say it's a membership, um, that's going to be a one. Those are typically a little bit lower priced course two, live event three, four. If you have a consulting or coaching kind of offer, that's how many points we're going to add to their score. And then how much effort will you put into it? I'm going to add up by one, two or three. How will customers get results? One, two or three health, wealth and relationships. So I'm going to say that relationships. And then honestly, if you're helping people make money, I've just found that that typically sells better and you can charge more for that. If you're helping people, you know, be 2% happier a week, which would be health, maybe relationships, that's kind of a trickier sale. And are there any live components? No, they're on their own. Some will host an event where they're uh, here or there, but it's not the main focus. I make that three and then five again, if there's lots, let's do this. Let's do one, three, five. Uh, so completely on their own. Some hand holding will make three and then five there. One, three, five. That let's see if this structure works, and it'll give us different uh, different score buckets. Okay. Now we've assigned their points, and we just need to match those points to the endings down here. Okay. So that is done here. Based on your response, the amount you charge. So this is the first option. So it's five to seven, eight to ten, eleven to thirteen, fourteen to sixteen, seventeen to twenty. I'm guessing twenty. It did the math for us, and twenty is the highest possible score that it can go. So let's just see how this works out. Let's go ahead and preview the quiz. All right, let's take a look and make up an offer, and let's see what kind of results it gives us. So let's say we're going to do some consulting, and I'm going to put a lot of effort into it. And there's some handholding in this, not the highest end. This will improve their wealth and there's a lot of live components. Now, what I would like for this to show is I would like for it to show the highest price. And if it doesn't, then we might need to adjust the highest price range. So it did work. It said it's over 2000 bucks for this specific offer. Let's go back and let's do a cheap one. Let's say we're doing a membership and there's some handholding, uh, but they're going to pretty much do it on their own. And it's in the area of relationships and there's no live components and that's it. So this should be a lower end. I don't know if it's the lowest possible one, but so yeah, sped out the lowest possible option there. So isn't that cool? Very simple, uh, very easy to get, very easy to do. I just did a couple of questions and then did a couple of landing pages. And then I might adjust this a little bit, uh, 21 to 24, let's maybe do 20. And then that means this needs to go to 19. Let me bump these down a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. So let's see what, See how that affects it. But for the most part, this quiz is done. Now, again, a couple things I might want to do to make it a little bit cooler is add a button that links up to an application or to the next step in the sales process. But that's a really simple way that you can use a handful of questions that they can click through and then a handful of different outcomes that, uh, that they can do. Now to finalize this, I'm going to probably add some pictures and stuff like that. I like Typeform has some really cool stuff that you can, for example, duplicate this. So I can go find a picture for DIY and go find a picture for some handholding, right? For now, we'll leave it as multiple choice, but I'll clean this up, spruce it up, make it look really nice, and then publish this to my webpage, drive some traffic to it. It'll be a lead capture. It'll be a helpful resource for those going through my courses or my memberships, and it'll be a nice asset to have in my business. And that's how you use Typeform to create a simple quiz or a scorecard or an assessment.